What is going on Wastelanders? It is me Lone Vault Wanderer here with a Fallout 4 update. Now before we get into today's Fallout 4 news topic, I would just like to kindly ask you if you could click on the link in the description below. It is a link to my most recent Fallout New Vegas Mods Weekly video. I would really appreciate it if you support that series. So anyways, moving on. It's actually been a really long time since I've done a Fallout 4 update because recently all we've gotten was slight hints, some cryptic tweets and hoaxes, but now we actually have something legitimate that might refer to Fallout 4. And let me just say, as always, this is nothing confirmed, take it with a grain of salt, but what I will do is present to you my opinions about it. So this Fallout 4 news update is about Bethesda's E3 conference in June of this year. Bethesda has just sent out its invitations to the event, which you can see on the screen right now. And as you can see, it says you're invited to Bethesda's E3 showcase, Dolby Theatre, June 14th, 2015. Doors close at 6.30 p.m. Please RSVP by May 27th. So obviously the first thing to glean from this is that we have confirmation of the date of Bethesda showcase at E3, which is June 14th. And we actually have a time. Before we didn't have any times, now we do. So it says the door closes at 6.30 p.m. So I'm presuming maybe a 6.45, maybe even a 7 o'clock start. Who knows? But at least after 6.30. Now this info was leaked in an IGN article, the link of which you can find in the description below just in case you want to read it for yourself but I will quickly highlight the paragraphs just so you can get a feel of what this invite is about as you can see there are a bunch of Bethesda published characters sitting in the random seats with cards obviously you've got the U card which is sitting in the front row and a question mark one but I will get to that so anyways the article starts off by saying the invitations to Bethesda's E3 conference went out today and it's full of references that might hint at the content of the inaugural event Maybe. The infight features a bunch of Bethesda characters seated in the stalls of the Dolby Theatre. From what we can ascertain so far, it features the Evil Within Sebastian, Dooms the Cyberdemon, Wolfenstein's BJ Blazkowicz, a tall boy from Dishonored, a Panzer Hunt from Wolfenstein, and a bunch of characters from the Elder Scrolls Online. Now obviously the most notable omission to these list or array of characters is somebody from the Fallout series, whether that be the Brotherhood of Steel Paladin, an Enclave member, whoever, there is no one from Fallout. Now my first impressions when looking at this invitation is that the question mark is referring to Fallout 4. I'm so confident that Fallout 4 will be revealed at this event. I've predicted this for well over a year. People that have followed me on this channel for a while know that I made this prediction and I'm 100% confident. I honestly am that Fallout 4 will be revealed. And the reason why I think that Fallout isn't a part of these list of characters here is quite simple. You don't want to ruin the surprise, now do you? You're not going to put a Fallout character on this invitation because it's just going to completely ruin any kind of surprise. A lot of people like myself, yes, are anticipating that Fallout 4 is going to be announced or revealed at this event, but the fact is you don't want to hint that it might be true. You don't want to give any kind of confirmation if you're sitting in Bethesda's management team because you're thinking, we want to try at least keep some sort of surprise. Honestly, it would just be a really poor business decision for Bethesda to have a Fallout character on this invitation because you know exactly what would happen if they did. All the attention will turn to Fallout. Everybody is going to be like, yes, Fallout 4 is going to be announced and everyone will be anticipating and waiting for it. Now, that's a good way to build hype, but I'm telling you right now, Bethesda want to make it a surprise. You wonder why they're keeping things so tight-lipped. You wonder why they're keeping things so under wraps. It's because they want to make it a big deal. You heard Todd Howard in that video way back when he said we want everything to be ready so when we show the game people are like wow that was a memorable event that was a memorable announcement and a reveal that's exactly what the feeling was when Fallout 3 was revealed and that's exactly what the feeling is going to be at A3 when I'm telling you Fallout 4 is going to be revealed I'm someone when I cover Fallout 4 news you all know me I will say take things with a grain of salt I will tell you now take this with a grain of salt but I've long predicted a Fallout 4 E3 reveal and I'm so confident that it is coming with this question mark with these recent teasers with you know Eric Todd Dellums kind of teasing about the game or not you know you can kind of glean from his tweets what you want or what you will but I'm confident of this fact just from someone that studied Fallout 4 news for so long this is my anticipation we will see Fallout 4 at E3 this year June 14th 2015 
I'm going to be anticipating it. If I'm wrong with this, I will happily admit that I am wrong. But this is my confident bet. So anyways, Wastelanders, I would love to hear your thoughts. Please put them in the comments below. And until next time, this has been the Lone Vault Wanderer. Please take care of yourself. And as always, keep fighting the good fight.